take. Yeah, one take, bitches. <laughs>、I'm、ben, welcome to Video Marketing Unscripted, where I help marketing, sales, and customer experience teams better leverage video. Oh, yeah, that one's better. I like that. Okay. David, what's our question today?、Mm. This week's question is a real doozy. People want to know how can video help me generate more qualified leads? Okay, so let's start with a little bit of a foundation here. Anthony, will you bring in a、uh, funnel for me somewhere here on either side? I guess you could put it right on my face, but. We don't want to deprive the people of that. So, in the top of our marketing funnel, that's kind of our marketing team, our marketing content. And then, somewhere in a gray area, still up on the top two thirds of this funnel, leads start to become marketing qualified leads and end up being handed off to sales. Once a lead is handed off to sales, then of course they've got more qualifying work that they've got to do to identify. Like, who's a legit prospect and, and who are their best opportunities. So, for Better qualified leads from the marketing department, let's think about those prospects and kind of the journey they take. So, the way that we like to look at it when we're putting together strategies for our clients is take a look at each persona and what their customer journey is through the marketing and sales parts of the funnel. So, as each persona moves from one step to the next further down step to the next further down step, we try to assess what questions those personas are asking at each stage. And that's gonna give you a really good indicator of what information you need to be giving them. The more self educational opportunities a prospect has, the more opportunities a prospect has to kind of kick the tires and, and get a sense of, of comfort and confidence in your choice, the better qualified that lead is gonna be. Another big part of qualification is the right fit. You've got the opportunity to prevent bad leads from being passed off to sales altogether. At some point in the funnel, you're going to want to start to identify what's a good fit for us and let that prospect self identify and either say, Yes, I think this is a good fit. We match those criteria. Or, No, I don't think this is for us. Once a lead, better qualified or not at this point, gets passed off to sales, you've got to start thinking about the sales associate's top resource, which is honestly their time. So, The more qualified a lead you can give to a sales associate, the better they can allocate their time and spend toward identifying who the real prospects are. The good sales associates are those who know to set aside the leads that aren't real good opportunities. The quicker they can do that, the more time they can focus on the better opportunities. Now, using video and sales also helps. Identify whether you're talking to the right person. They may be a qualified lead in the sense of the company that they work for, or maybe even the business unit within that company, but you also have to understand that you need to be talking to the right person. And a lot of times, especially with our clients in the B2B space, we found that they kind of take the opportunity of whoever they can get in, whoever that wedge contact is at a prospect. They start to nurture that person and use that person to get to the ultimate decision makers. So, let's say you've done a custom demo with that excited person, but not the decision maker. Well, you can actually give them a video playlist of maybe micro demos of the individual pieces of your software that. You identified as a salesperson, their boss, the decision maker would really be interested in. You can arm them with that content so that they can go back, show the decision maker, look, this, they can be your cheerleader even, but they can be doing it in the messaging that you want them to be doing it. And so it can be a great consensus building tool so that you can get that meeting with or get that commitment from the ultimate decision maker. So, to sum up, marketing teams map that customer journey, identify the questions that they're asking throughout that customer journey, and answer those questions with video. Give your sales teams better qualified leads. Sales teams, Use video to identify where the real opportunities are, whether it's deeper content, whether it's helping understand who's the right fit, or even consensus building content to share with the ultimate decision maker and get them on the phone or them in a meeting. So I hope that answers your question. You're welcome. Is your marketing, sales, or customer experience team not doing video right? I'm Ben Oliver, and I'm here to tell you that you can do it easily. Step one, call Storyboard Media. Step two, write them a big fat check. Step three, boom, you're done!